Next is like comparing this uh, Kutuki with the Guduchi. Both are like bitter. Both are used uh, maybe for skin disease. Uh, for fe fever for sure, kapha pitta, hara action is also seen, pramey or diabetes, urinary tract disorders, all those things are quite common. Only thing that I miss is the rasayana effect which is uh, quite pronouncedly seen in guduchi but it, uh, kutugi sort of lacks that sir. The reason may be because of its generalized deviria. In case of uh, guduchi, even though this almost similar combination is there but its virya is ushna virya there. Whereas in case of Katuki, it is a Sheetha Virya. Maybe that combination is not supporting the Katuki to go for that. But on a longer run, even uh, Katuki doing a good uh, liver definitely helps in assimilation, absorption of the nutrients and it also helps indirectly to act as an Rasayana Dravya. But it may not be as such of uh, Guduchi or even uh, Ashwagandha or something like that. DTG asks, how, for how many days it can be given for liver purification or cleansing, meaning for uh, you know Mrudu Virachana or Nitya Virachana, how long can it be given? See, usually we there is a two approach in that. The one is uh, whether you are doing any laboratory investigations or anything straight away using the drug for the purpose and the patient will give you feedback continuously when you use it for maybe one week or ten days something like that then the patient will say that that I am now regularly passing the my bubbles are my bubbles are very clean and clear nowadays and it is with a normal yellow color and everything whatever the things he will communicate that is the one method of doing it the second other method is before starting those things if you are if you are feeling that there is a slum sluggish liver or anything like that you want to establish it go for an LA function test and establish whether there is any sluggishness or any damages in the form of SGOT, SGPT or even uh, bilirubin levels and all those things. Accordingly then uh, later use the drug then um, once again repeat the test then the results will the comparison of the two results will definitely give us a very good idea and a clear opinion about how it functions. So it doesn't mean that in every patient it should be taken for such a number of days or something like that. It can be variable from person to person and condition to condition. So it may be for a younger uh, chap with some uh, is very mild to moderate nature. Maybe for 10 days it, things will be settled down. Maybe for um, drastic and uh, big, uh, comparatively a morbid disease with much of doshas involved in it, then it may take for months together. So it doesn't make any uh, compulsion that we need to go for only for certain days it should be used. No such criteria. It can be used according to the need.